Welcome to Val White Marine. Today I want to feature this stunning little electric boat. It's built by Landmores up in Norfolk and it's a Mayfly 16. I'm going to take you out on the boat and hopefully give you a flavour of what uh, electric boating is all about. But I just wanted to start it off with this overall view. These boats are hand built in Norfolk and as I take you up close and get you on board hopefully you're going to see some of that really coming through. The build quality is exceptional, the styling is simple yet really classy. On two and I'll try and give you bow, bow to stern. These boats are bespoke built so you can have a look at exactly how you want the spec. Um, you can tone it down and have a lot less wood or, or as with this one really um, feature the wood and show it off. So on the bow, again, lots of lovely detailing, that stainless steel there. You get a teak rubbing strake running around the outside of the boat. And then I'm just gonna take you aft. This beautiful hardwood combing. And then a surprising amount of seating. There is an option on these boats that if you want to, um, whereas we've got open space, under the cockpit seating, you can have that filled in to make storage lockers. Two steering options available. Side, as you've got here, which is actually surprisingly easy to use, although it may seem daunting. It, I've been out on the boat this morning, it's surprisingly easy. Or you can opt for tiller steer, which we can talk to you about. So now I'm on board, I want to give you a little walk around behind the scenes as well. So first thing you'll see, other than that pretty deck, is little storage locker in here. It's actually quite spacious. Uh, got the shore power cable there, some spare fenders, and up in there you can see the shore power connection and battery charger. There's your aft view. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is duplicated both sides uh, under these large cushions. You've got the storage boxes for the batteries. I'll just pick up on this one so that you can have a look at what to expect in there. Uh, you've got one of those each side. Lifted out your aft cockpit seats and just show you um, that's all storage under there. Um, and over on this side, you've got your throttle and uh, throttle and battery monitor, which I'm going to show you when we're underway. Now underway, uh, just heading out of our marina, we're heading upstream. So I've got a little bit of power on to compensate for the flow of the river and. Uh, Yes, you can hear the motor, but it's absolutely effortless and so calm and relaxing. I just want to talk for a moment uh, about the battery life and the controls, and I'm going to bring you down to the panel, as I said I would try and do. Hopefully that's legible now. Um, we're running at about 600 watts, which is giving us a good tone of speed, turn of speed. Going upstream, I've uh, got 97% battery showing. At this speed, there is an expected range of eight hours. Um, it's also got our speed there, and that gives me the number of watts we're consuming. Any electric boat or any electric car or any electric device is very susceptible, um, the range obviously to the speed. So straight away, if you can see, if I back the speed off a little bit, um, the system will sense that the range goes up dramatically. So there, there is always, it's very hard to say the exact range of any vessel. Uh, it's more about wind has dropped so hopefully um, you're getting much more of a sense of how quiet the boat is. Um, I'm running at that same speed I was before so we're running at about 400 watts which is we've got a, a decent movement over the water against the flow. So I wanted to try and give you uh, feeling of electric boating really I guess. Uh, it's an incredibly comfortable, although small boat, an incredibly comfortable place to be just sat here at the helm. We're underway again at about the same speed as we were before, running upstream on the Thames. As I said you've got the, the, steer, the side steering but really as you can see from the way I'm sat and how easy it is, that is so easy to control the boat um, really without moving. Uh, it's very very responsive on the steering. And also I've got the throttle control down here, so if I want to make any minor adjustments, I'm going to speed up a little bit. Um, or if I want to stop in a hurry, obviously we'll just take the power off and then we just drift along. On to now and a couple of other finer little details I wanted to show you that are tucked away. Uh, little horn there, battery master switches off so that's not going to work now. And then tucked down 
very neatly and all out of sight so that nothing's cluttered. You've got the battery master switch under there and the RCD plate for the boat uh, showing you a rating for six passengers. There's also a charging point under there um, and your bilge pump switch. I hope this video has given you a flavour for electric boating and the Mayfly 16 in particular. Uh, if you like the look of this boat and like to find out more about it, please do contact us through our website or give us a call. There is a larger model in this range, the Mayfly 21, and a selection of other launches available from Landmore's The Boat Builder. Thank you for watching.